Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. Glad to have you with us here at the noon hour. Cleveland is on the national stage as a blockbuster of college basketball games begins to rock and roll in the rock and roll capital of America. Today, the first round of the men's tournament continues with key matchups featuring the Ohio State Buckeyes. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska reports live from downtown Cleveland, where people are coming in from all over the country. But, Paul, first, I understand the Buckeyes have arrived. All right, apparently we're live. We apologize for some audio difficulties. But, Leon, what a fun day this is going to be in downtown Cleveland. The Buckeyes uh, team bus just arrived at their downtown hotel. Actually arrived around 1030 this morning. Uh, the players got off of their team bus wearing their scarlet and gray warm-ups. Head coach Thad Mata got off the bus as well. And some of the players signed autographs for some fans who were waiting outside of that hotel. Uh, some of the players, including David Lighty, for instance, who played at VASJ, stopped to sign autographs for fans. Downtown hotel, sports, sports bars, and restaurants, taxis, all expecting a busy weekend, big business. But of course, the teams that lose it go out in the first round, go home, and that hotel loses out for the second round. Either way, it's extra business as a lot of out of towners take into sites like the House of Blues. But for those wearing the scarlet and gray, Buckeyes head coach Thad Mata said today coming to Cleveland is a homecoming. A ton of Ohio State fans up here, and, and uh, we played up here four years ago and, and had a great turnout, so our, our guys are excited. Having three guys from Cleveland, it's awesome. OSU player Dallas Lauderdale is from Solon. Uh, Jared Sollinger's dad played and coached at Oberlin. Now, I asked the several fans if they were bothered by some of those post-parade fights in Public Square. Got a little rowdy there yesterday. Uh, they said, what fights? I talked to a spokesperson from Positively Cleveland. Uh, they called the fights in, in Public Square after the parade yesterday at St. Patrick's Day. Minor skirmishes and said, look at this great, beautiful weather today. That's what fans are seeing. A week ago today, Leon, we had a snowstorm in the Cleveland area. Things getting a lot better. The Buckeyes tip at 4.40 p.m. this afternoon. Live from outside the queue, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.